Hi there, I'm Chris from Fugo, and I'm gonna show you how to use this Google Chromecast with Google TV to turn a TV screen into digital signage. Back in 2020, Google released its fourth generation Chromecast with major usability improvements. A full user interface powered by Google TV and a long overdue remote control. And now it's one of our top picks for doing digital signage on a budget. You can pick these up off Amazon or any local big box store like Walmart, Target or Curry's and at $30 to $50 a pop, these players can allow you to do some pretty impressive things with your TV screens. Remotely manage your content from a centralized cloud software like Fugo. Display real-time updates from dashboards and reporting tools like Power BI, Tableau or Salesforce. And display content streams from third-party apps like your social media channels or Google Workspace. With access to the Google Play Store, you can easily download the Fugo Player app. Google also now offers an optional Ethernet adapter, which we recommend for a more stable internet connection. From our testing, the $50 4K model performs well, displaying media alongside apps with minimal lag or stuttering. It's important to note that this device isn't for everyone. It's not a professional digital signage media player, so if you're running content 24 seven or over eight hours a day, its lifespan will be shorter than what you would get with something like the Fugo Nook or Chromebox. And because it's not a commercial player, it lacks features for remote device management. However, it's a great option for running Fugo as a proof of concept or pilot as you begin your digital signage journey. Let's go ahead and set this up. Now, if this is your first time you're setting up your new Chromecast, all you'll need is a Google account to get started. You'll plug your player into your screen, then follow the prompts to connect it to the internet and you'll be good to go. I'll drop a link with setup instructions in the description below. Note that if you're prompted with the option to turn on Google Assistant, we recommend that you leave it turned off. With your Chromecast set up on your screen, you're ready to install Fugo on it. Use your remote to navigate to the App Store and find the Fugo Digital Signage Player app. Install it, and once the app has loaded, you'll see a splash screen with a four digit pin you're gonna use it to pair your screen by logging into Fugo from the browser on your computer. Install Fugo, click Create, then Screen. Alternatively, you can get to the pairing page by clicking Screens in the top navigation bar, then Create Screen. Enter the pairing code, give your screen a name, and add its location if you want to be able to find it in Fugo's Map Viewer. You'll be prompted to complete a couple of extra steps to ensure the Fugo app runs optimally on your Chromecast. First, you'll be prompted to turn off the energy saver on your display. By default, Android 11 will automatically turn off your display after three hours of inactivity. This will turn Fugo off too, so let's disable this. Press the home button on your Chromecast remote. This will exit the Fugo app and take you back to your player's home screen. Go to the player settings in the top right corner of the screen. Open device preferences, then energy saver. Set turn off display to never. Back in Fugo CMS, click next when you finish this step. Now you're gonna enable the auto start permission, which will allow Fugo to automatically start when you boot up your player and be displayed over other apps. Click open player settings. Fugo will automatically open the player settings on your screen so that you can enable this permission. Use your remote to toggle this permission on for Fugo. Back in Fugo CMS again, click next when you've finished this step. And lastly, you'll be prompted to enable kiosk mode for the Fugo app. This will help with the stability of the Fugo app. It will prevent anyone from interfering with the app on screen and auto launch Fugo again in the case of a power failure or crash. Just click yes on the prompt and we'll automatically enable kiosk mode for you. Note that you can disable kiosk mode anytime from your screen settings tab in the CMS. And if you need to exit the Fugo app on your screen for any reason, press the back button on your remote three times in rapid succession. With setup complete, your new screen will now be listed on your screen's page and you're ready to push content to it from Fugo. 
Fugo allows you to display content from virtually any source. Whether you're creating your content in our slide designer from scratch or pulling it from systems your team already uses. That includes high-res media, integrations with third-party tools and dashboards or web pages that live behind a secure login. Head to fugo.ai to learn more about what's possible on screen. Make sure to check out our help center for more guidance on using Fugo and of course, thanks for watching.